Okay, another update. Spent a few hours. Drilled out everything here to a size 30. Had to measure up. So I can show this here. Put that. You want the 70 millimeters right in the center of the the radius up here from sitting on top of the, the bracket. And let's see if I can get a good look. Kind of look pretty much straight down that and I'd say it's pretty good. I was able to I'd clamped each corner and then I came and measured the, the center sections. I put a drilled the hole Clico there and then I worked from the center all the way out to the ends here. Um, with the skin, just drilled out all the holes to a size 30 as well. Left the end undone. And just got done. Took a long time to drill through here into the spar, all the way down the length of the spar. I click out as I went, started again, started in the middle, worked my way to the edge. Get a lot of a lot of metal shavings. So Pretty much next step is to roll the nose skin over. So I'll roll the nose skin over and tuck it underneath the, the top skin. And then I'll be able to drill through those holes. I'm gonna use, I think I got a eight foot long two by four, so that should get me most of the way across and I'll hold it in place with some ratchet straps. We'll see how that works. Okay, kind of got in the groove and forgot to stop and take a video, but uh, got the front leading edge here drilled out and clicked on. There's just kind of some a little bit of wave action going on here. Not sure. Not sure if I got a crinkle in it or if that's just kind of the way that it is. Um, home built help video kind of he had a similar situation going on so I think probably pretty normal um, I was able to a pretty tight uh, pretty tight seal all the way around not really much of a gap there nothing there hard to see behind but all the way behind there is pretty tight. Depending on how the light catches it, you can kind of see some of the ones that are a little looser than others. I think this one's it's mostly tight all the way around. A little bit of a gap right there, but not too bad at all. I think that's tighter than what my uh, horizontal tail was, so should be pretty good. Next step is do the same for the outboard skin there. And I okay, once, think once I get that far, it's probably pretty darn close to done. I should take the whole thing apart, the whole bottom skin apart, I guess, and uh, deburr corrosion protection. There's a I gotta double check the plans and see. I don't know if there's a doubler that goes in these holes or if it's just an extra extra set of rivets or something. But what I ended up doing for the bend this round, I had a eight foot long two by four, so my wife and I would push the push the two by four over, did three ratchet straps, so I did one on either end and then another one. Uh, ended up covering this row of holes there. Ratcheted it 
as tight as I could get without thinking that I was bending something. Um, I think it puts a lot of stress on that trailing edge. The more you tighten the ratchet straps, everything. I don't remember if these little bows in here were there. Or if the ratchets did it, but I don't think we're too bad. Um, so after we put the put the board across, I put some tape to hold it on, and put the ratchet strats up. Pretty much followed the same procedures I did in the home built, home built help video. Not much of an easier way around it, so works out pretty good. Uh, I'll try and do a do an update once I get this guy on. Let me do a show you guys how I did that. Do another little status update. Got uh, all the nose ribs or the nose skins on rather. Working on drilling everything out to make it to size 30. Starting just about out of the copper colored Clecos and you know, a little bit longer to go so I'm not probably end up I've got them every other in here, so at least along the uh, trailing edge skin there, I could probably go every third one, and then I'll pull the ones off the outside skin here, so I'll get a, should get enough to get all the way down to the end. So a couple spots when the light catches it, you can probably see a little wrinkly in there, but I think it's going to be, it is what it is. All the skins sit pretty flat except for in here too. We've got a, just a couple of wrinkles just in this section here and then kind of seem to flatten out. Everything lined up pretty well here on the end. Just the spar tip was a little, just a tiny bit long there, but. Actually, there you can see the, uh, it's like that nose rib is pushing out. Might have, might have ratchet strapped it a little too tight. That one came out real nice. There's a little bit of a gap there, but. All the planes that I've seen is probably pretty much on par with what they're doing. So, I'm gonna keep drilling. Um, I think the only thing, only last bit yet to do is get to add the stiffeners that go in between all of these. The only one that's got any of that oil canning in it, but it should help eliminate it. Oh, trying to go drill out, drill out this a little bit of goop. You see, that's the uh, corrosion protection I'm using. Some Cortex. Very good. Better go too much, then I'll probably just clean some of that up with acetone when I'm done. I see here. There's that's what it dries to. So, we'll keep drilling and uh, probably check back in once I get the top skin removed. And I'll, I'm gonna work on this and then do some uh, strut attach fittings on the bottom side. So, a little bit longer to go yet. Do a little lesson learned here and Hopefully I won't make the mistake on the other side, but you kind of see all the little all the little divots that end up in the uh, the sheet metal. I'm not sure what all of these ones are from. Looks like they're just the uh, I mean it's a soft edge. Deburred it, but it's still it's probably the I got a ratchet strap there, so it's probably a little too tight. But the real big lesson learned is right here. This bottom 
bottom corner on each one of these. And on that one, this one, and this one out here. So, I think I'm just gonna have to, have to try and tin snip that uh, corner out of there. The light's not pushing on the, not pushing on the skin. Might be able to roll that out with the spoon. There's a little, little crease in it right here too. Not sure. Not sure where that one came from, but other than that, not too bad. All my holes lined up pretty good in the uh, in the ribs. It's not much you can do. I think the, the brackets kind of help keep it straight, but if it does get a little crooked, this one's a little crooked, but uh, not much you can do because there's not really a way to get in there to tap it one way or the other. So this would probably be the most difficult one to hit, but that came out pretty straight. So keep going, I'll take the rest of the skin off and get into the inside the good stuff.